Hi, here's some shirts that my nephew used to wear that are oh, too small for him that we're going to give to my cousin's youngest because he's boy, so yeah. This one is a Spider-Man oh, shirt, and this one is a real cool one. It looks fancy-dancy. I don't understand this. Oops, sorry, I grabbed two shirts. Um, I don't understand this last, this next shirt the turtle on it. I don't know what that's all about. Battery's about to die. And then a hometown's college shirt. Then pajama shirt of Angry Birds Star Wars edition. There's that one and then there's on the back there's Dark Vader. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Then this one with all the Marvel characters because he's into that superhero stuff and then this Yu-Gi-Oh one I think it's yeah Yu-Gi-Oh because he likes the show Yu-Gi-Oh so that's about it thanks for watching I'm Bonnie and Bunny now leave me alone you gotta love my friend Ping Pig Gamer 145. You should go check him out. I'll try and put the link down in the description. But my favorite quote by Pig is, Peace, bros. And he loves his bacon. I don't know if you can see that, but that's my Valentine's Day heart. Um, hair, colors, whatever. Hope you can see all that. And down below here, underneath my slippers, when I take off my slippers, you will see my Valentine's Day socks that I'll be wearing when I go to work today. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Hope everyone's having a very, very happy Valentine's Day. And for all you single people out there, happy Singles Day! Bye! Okay. So, you um, can't claim a year's storage because you were giving her free storage. So you can't okay. create a... So I'm watching this people's court here and that girl is a bitch. And I will tell you why in a minute because I have to put a warning label on all my videos because people just don't get the clue that you can't just print screen people without permission when they show their face in videos. Just because their video is on a public website doesn't give you the right to print screen them and post their pictures the screen pictures all over the internet without their permission just like you're not allowed to go on discord and make a video showing people's discord names without permission doesn't matter if it's your public server or not discord server or not you don't have permission and you shouldn't do it. You have to have permission. Because people can go, oh, their screen name on Discord is this. Let me try to figure out the numbers. Let me try to figure out how I can add them. Oh, I see so-and-so has Discord when they say they don't. You know, shit like that. Also, another thing with Discord, or not Discord, with things like you don't you just don't print screen people it's just not cool and my rule is if you print screen me then I have to take the video that you got all the videos of my face down all the videos that I had of my face I had to private or unlist them we have to find them in playlists because p people had to ruin it I don't care if you're joking around or not, you just don't do that. So, anyways, the point of this video is, I was watching the People's Court from yesterday, I believe. The Valentine's Day. So, oh, and also yesterday was Ash Day. So, if you guys are people that do Ash Day, um, I hope you guys had a fun event, fun day, and got to eat the food and stuff because at my work we prepared food for the people that celebrate Ash Day so anyways um, 
this bitch, the reason why I called her a bitch, is because this other bitch, yeah, they're both bitches, the first one was like, I'm suing her because she gave away all my things to churches, and she took all my memorabilia and things and all my pictures that I can't get back and just threw them out. Well, one, I don't know why this girl was asking her to store some of her things, but she did. And the girl said yes, but then the girl was like, hey, I can't store them here anymore. You gotta get your shit out. And the girl told her time and time again, get your shit out, get your shit out, get your shit out. And time and time again, the girl kept giving her excuses after excuses after excuses saying, when my boss goes on vacation, I'll do it. When my daughter goes back to school, I'll do it. When, okay, I can't even do it after this. Okay, we had a fight, so I'm getting my stuff out. Okay, but I can only do it after the holidays. And she just kept making excuses after excuses why she couldn't get her shit out. So the girl did the only right thing, which I think was right. She had the right to do it. She took her shit and decided, fine, I'm just going to donate it to churches. Because I don't want the shit, and I told you to get it out, and you didn't listen. But when it comes to stuff like photos and memorabilia and stuff that you can't replace, she just threw them in the trash. Because she was like, N I didn't want to be responsible for them anymore. So I didn't care for them. And I didn't want them in my house. So I got rid of them. Bitch, if you did that to me, I'd burn your house down. And see how, or take something of yours that you can't replace and see how you like it. Because that was not cool of you to do that to that bitch. And the reason why I sound so weird is because on the 13th of February, I got really badly sick and was throwing up from like 7 in the morning till like 11.30. And I was just really sick that whole day and it was just not fun. And the bitch was like, no, what you do is if you don't want someone shit in your house and you told them time and time again to get the shit out they still won't do it then yeah stuff that they can replace and go buy again yeah donate whatever but if it's pictures and stuff that they can't replace you just take it put it in your goddamn car drive right over to your the bitch's house throw it in their yard or in their front door and go deal with it and if they don't pick it up or they just leave it out there to get ruined not your problem. You told them to get the shit out. But throwing it away, not having, you know, and they can't. This is why, and nobody listens to me, but this is why you get a scanner like this, and you scan all your pictures on the computer just, and have backup of all your pictures just in case something happens to the originals you have backup because now you don't have pictures of your little girl from when she was born to being a little baby to you in high school or you and your husband's wedding and stuff like that you won't have any of those pictures anymore because they were thrown out by a bitch who well, you shouldn't be friends with if a bitch would do that <clears throat> but always always scan those type of photos that way and just you know, yes yeah, something could happen to the computer put them on after you do that put it on a disc so, yes yeah, something can happen to the disc that's when you put it on Facebook if you don't want everyone seeing all those pictures on Facebook you can make the folders private to only you see them that way if something happens to your computer your disc then you can go straight to Facebook and boom your photos are right there and you won't have to worry. And don't eat and and I and I'm sick of people going, but what about my Let me see how many minutes I have on here. Okay. They're like, Well what about my phone? I take all my photos on the phone and then I go to switch my S D card and I lose some of the photos or my phone gets damaged and then I lost everything. Back up those photos from your phone. Send them to your own email, to yourself in an email. That way you have backup. Then, or put them on Instagram or put them on Facebook. 
just in case something happens to the to your phone, you have backup. Don't be like, well, I decided since something might happen in case something happens to my phone, I decided to print out the my favorite photos and then hang them around my house and then my house burnt down. That's not backing up your photos. No. So, I hope you guys learned a lesson here in this vlog, in this video about backing up your photos. If you even have a negative, if you have negatives from back in the 80s and the 90s, because you're old like me, you can also back those up too. And you're saying, how? You get a negative scanner. They're really cheap. I got mine at Best Buy. They're really cheap. It was like $50. Some are like $30 to $50. They're not that expensive. You can even put pictures in them as well and scan them if they're a small size picture. If you don't want to do a big thing like this. And it will, you can put your negatives in each one at a time and scan them. And it's like you went to the store and made copies. So just gotta learn back up your shit back up your photos so if some idiot like them plus why would you ha ha this girl had 24 boxes she said she had boxes full of photos why don't you put those photos in a scrapbook then you wouldn't have then that person who is gonna hold your stuff for you won't have to deal with so many boxes of photos that you could have put in, in a scrapbook. It doesn't even have to be a fancy scrapbook. Just grab a photo book and throw them in. Or just grab some colored paper, grab your pictures, put one thing of tape on the front, stick it on the paper, put it in a slit, put it in the book, and there you go. You don't even have to write on the, on the pages if you don't want to. But you should. You should always date your pictures. Always, you know, say who's who. Just in case someone else gets your pictures from the family and needs to know. Or you forget which kid is which, if there's twins or whatever. I'm just saying, back up your shit. That's what I do. I have tons of scrapbooks and I back up every picture I own in this house. Always do that. So, that if you get a bitch like of this, you don't have to deal with not having any pictures, period. At least you'll have something because you back them up. I'm Boney. I'm Boney. Now, leave me alone. Judge Miliana!